All right, we got ourselves a Thracia banner. Let's go. I made a promise. A promise Yo, Asbel, let's fucking go. All right, what you got here? Grab Caliber. Slaying weapon, effective against flyers. If unit initiates combat or is used within two places, spaces of ally, grants five to all stats and neutralizes foes bonuses. All right, pretty sick. He has Moonbow, Fury 4, no follow-up, and Speed Rezzle, which is new. Interesting. Mm. Life or death. Mm. I'm confident in my skill with the bow. I will try my best not to be a burden to you. Alright, Ronan, what you got for us? Res plus three. Foe initiates combat or foe's HP is full. Grants attack six and inflicts an attack, attack minus six on foe. And also neutralizes penalties to its attack and bonuses to foe's attack. Mm -hmm. Alright. Interesting. I like it. But it's another blue bow with the same gimmick as the other blue bows. In a way, basically. But it looks like this one's actually going to be fast, so that'll be very fun. Swift Stance is Swift Stance 3, which is also new. Speed and Res plus 6, and Inflix Guard. Like it. What else? They really just made this girl the demo. I'm surprised. Rowl Serpent, garbage, and garbage. Well, speed rest gap isn't particularly garbage, but it's a little bit garbage. But uh, Serpent's Home uh, is now going to be in the three star pool, so um, get hyped for that, I suppose. Poor doggo. Well, at the very least, it looks like she's going to be fast, so. We may finally have our fast red mage, red mage infantry to play with. That isn't fucking Tharja. I'm Sarah. I know all there is to know about you. Just want to sit here and say, Sarah. Sarah is goddamn pretty. Let me tell you. Oh, fucking shit, dude. Look at this Yu Gi Oh ass description. All right, what do we, what do we got? They gave her so much shit, too. This is obviously a start of banner, so it makes sense, but. Ooh, boy. Premium, pre yeah, premium healer. Let's fucking go. All right, raffle staff. At the start of turn, if a penalty is active on any allies within four spaces, excluding the unit, grants attacking six to attacking speed plus six to ally with the lowest HP among them for one turn and neutralizes any penalty. If a penalty is not active on an ally, target allies with the lowest HP among them. Alright. That's nice. And then return plus a new hill. Let's go. Restores HP, 50% of units attacks with target ally, and it's reposition. Alright. Return is uh, definitely the star fodder here. If you thought Flane's uh, rescue has some shenanigans, let me tell you, Return is about to do some crazy shit. If ally cannot move to the target space, if another ally or foe is occupying find that space, ally will not you move. Using this skill has no effect on special cooldown charge, and unit does not gain XP or SP. This skill is treated as a movement skill only when movement takes place. Which means we might be able to use snags with this. Possibly. Yeah, you're looking at Kia staff being broken? No, I'm looking at return. Return looks like return plus looks like absolute fun stuff.
Oh yeah, she's fast. And pretty alright staff animation. Uh, let's see. Let's see a Lance version of one of the mech dudes. Uh, alright. And yeah, Miranda is the four star demo. Fun. And I guess the GHB is Veld. Interesting. Oh, that's Fafnir. Interesting. Alright, let me go back. I want to go over a little bit of more analyzation here. But uh, as for me, I'm probably just gonna free free pull on colorless since Miranda's the demo. I can just wait for her. So, uh, your boy Aspo, right? I'm not sure. Uh, first impression, I'm like, okay, uh, the weapon's cool. Having things like a. Uh, you know, it's slaying, so that's already pretty strong. They'll probably make for a pretty good um, IP ladder unit, I guess. He can be at the bottom or something. Or probably the middle, actually. But if you look at like what he gets, it, he has a flying effectiveness, so basically Merrick's out of a job again. Uh, rest in peace to that dude. But if he initiates, you know, he gets like 5 to all stats. And he can, uh, he, he just, he has dull everything. He just neutralizes all foes' blue buffs, which is pretty strong, actually. He's pretty, that's, I guess I'd say he's pretty close to a um, god unit, but I guess it depends on what his uh, base stat line is. But I can see them giving him something like 40 base attack and 40 base speed just to make him stand out a little better. But yeah. Yeah, Small Merrick is probably definitely uh, still busted. But when I said Merrick, I meant normal Merrick. I meant not the small one. <laughs> because nor normal Merrick is the one that has the flying effective infantry. So yeah, that's him. He's alright, I suppose. So when I looked at... Um, I looked at Ronan and I was like, yeah, this dude's probably gonna be the demote, but surprisingly, he's not. They give him a perfect weapon, which means all of the blue bow um, infantry we've gotten so far have all been uh, preference weapon users. And I mean, his uh, I mean, his father's actually pretty nice, it, but then you saw his skills and like, oh no, he, he's not gonna be the demote. He has. A dual rally, he has joint drive speed, and he has swift stance. Dude has like nothing. Yeah, both his A and C slot are tier fours, which is pretty funny. Yeah, Felix's armor though, I meant like infantry. Also, with this bow, it's like sure, I mean, I guess uh, your free to play Jorge's are out of business because. This is basically better than that. But it is enemy phase lock, so... They either have to have full HP, which is a sh pretty shitty condition to try to unlock half the time. Or you just play him enemy phase. They gave him swift stance, but if you really wanted to use him like for enemy phase up, Eh, you could they could have gave him like close foil, I mean... But it's nice to finally have swift stance in the game, so... I'm not gonna be like, meh. Yeah, it's preference spin thrift, except one less attack. And no uh, cooldown penalties. Which is also good in its own way. So, if you're just looking for like, blue Midori, here, here you go, I guess. We have four blue bow infantry. Do we? Who's the fourth one? I don't remember. I remember Chrome, I remember Jorge, and then I remember this dude. Who's the fourth one? 
not gonna lie, Miranda, Miranda pretty cute though. The art's uh, pretty sick. Oh yeah, Legendary Lucina, I forgot that existed. Literally who? The base kit's pretty garbo, but Roar Serpent and a Four Star Pool might be useful for this to somebody, I guess. As for me, I just hope her stat line is good so I can give her Roar Fox and let her go the fuck in on people. I'm not worried about the base kit, I'm worried about the base stats, because when it comes to units who don't have preference weapons, a lot of times their baseline stats, well, they don't matter in the long run. But you want something that's easier to work with, especially with, with these new units, these Book 5 units. And then lastly, we're back here. Lady of Lawless. Alright, we gotta ask the real questions here. Who's cuter? Sarah, Julia, or Deirdre? I'm not saying she's prettier than Deirdre, but I'm saying she's coming pretty close. Also, Heather Haley is a uh, good quality. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say no to um, the pre floof. The f it's a, it's a competition of floof, my boy. And like, who's got the best floof? And for me, it's still Deirdre. But I don't know. She's definitely uh, high up there in terms of uh, quality in the looks department. But yeah, she also comes with attack speed push four, dazzling staff three, and joint drive res, which is uh, all pretty strong shit. But, uh, man, Kia's staff is a lot to take in, dude, like, so you gotta have any penalty being active on any ally, and it's four spaces, so you could use this with, like, uh, Laszlo, right, and just let him soak chills and shit, and then he gets, like, attack and speed plus six from that. And then he just neutralize and then she neutralizes all penalties. So what's crazy about this? Actually this staff is pretty broken because think about what made people use Branya or Idun or like some of the god swords, right? It's that ability to neutralize penalties. So being able to do that from four spaces away means that this unit cannot get sniped. So that's already pretty strong. Yeah, this is basically an Aether Raid staff. It's like flame, but uh, arguably more broken because penalty neutralization is pretty big because this lets people turn their brain off. They don't have to have other units sh um, like soak penalties from their main tank or whatever. They can just let the tank do it. That's why that's why Bronya is so good because like she just has the ability to like run into shit and uh, not care about debuffs. But yeah, this basically lets any like super tank do, do what Bronya does. I think I might get one for Bowie. Anyway, yeah, and she also looks like she's gonna be a very strong unit herself. So if she does see combat, like. Yeah, she looks like she's gonna be fast as shit too. I expect her to have like base 40 speed as a healer. And that would actually be pretty nuts, not gonna lie. Aw oh, shit, I read I miss I did misrate it. It's at the start of the turn. Now, it, does that mean at the start of any turn, like the enemies? Or is it just gonna be player fates? Uh, well, that's unfortunate, but it might be pretty good. It should it should still be pretty strong though. I am absolutely excited for refines this month. Uh, Jenny's on it. 
and I hope her, her find is a maze bombs. Anti Mila, I guess. Actually, if you use this on uh, defense, yeah, and to start, you don't even need auto recovery for it. Like, if you want, well, it only hits one target, mind you. So if you had a target that wasn't in like odd recovery mate, odd recovery range, you could probably use it. For example, if you were to use like your fragile low HP like um, Oz legendary Ozor or something, like if you still actually try to use that in 2021, you piece of shit. I'm just kidding. But yeah, if you try to use something like that, you can just have Kia staff on the other side of the map and uh, that'll let you use Ozor. But yeah, okay, so my first impression of Kia Sap was like, it was just kind of okay, but I think I'm still in that okay range. For a moment, I thought I was about to uh, go kind of crazy, but nah. But you know what is gonna go crazy in AR? Return Plus, like Return Plus. Oh, I am ready for this, my boy. Like, Jesus, this, is, this looks absolutely, uh, this looks stacked. Like, if you thought Rescue having drag back was good, wait till you see what Return does. Because it absolutely does work on the opposite side of the unit. So, if you thought people using Winter Burner Data was annoying in um, Aether Race Defense, although I still feel like that secret tech that nobody has, like, quite unlocked yet, it, just wait for this. You. You think, uh, you think you can get across the map easy with, um, with tricks with, um, rescue? Man, return is about to go off, dude. Healer swamp or healer pivot? But healer smite might just be, uh, warp. I feel like if they ever put warp staff in, it's just gonna be like smite or something. You wouldn't want to make everybody have the same depth. Remember, it targets the unit with the ally with the lowest HP. So you'd have to like purposely lower your HP or make sure everybody has like the same lowest HP, which could be a pain because uh, HP thresholds are very varied in general. Uh, Sara Q. But it's uh, nice to see Asbol in the game. We're still missing a few uh, mains, but uh, Asbol's in. No, uh, no do yet, though. No do and Patty. I'm waiting for them, but maybe they'll be in the uh, next Young Pro banner. Yeah, HP is harder to, like, check out because it's such a set stat, right? So. And then you can spark them. You can do full sparks for this one, so... I wonder who you would spark for. My suggestion, obviously, is going to be Sara. Because... Did you see that? I'm telling you, man. If you, especially if you have Winter Bernadetta, you better be... If you're, if you're gonna spark for a unit, a spark for Sara. Like, holy shit. She's so good, dude. Uh, second... The second, if you if you make it to like two sparks, I guess you could pick up. Um, honestly, it doesn't really matter. Like if you look at fodder for the two, um, for your boys, like they're pretty strong fodder, but nothing that's gonna be like a great, pretty nuts. Did Valve have a prep weapon? No. I don't know, it's been too long since I played Thracia, I couldn't tell you. But, uh, yeah, if you spark, spark for Sara. Absolutely. 100%. Guaranteed. Definitely. And, yep. There they are. All nice and cool, right? Those are your new heroes. For me, uh, I'm pretty hyped for Sara, but I don't have any orbs right now, so I'm not really gonna roll for her, unfortunately. 
I'll probably just, uh, you know, probably just do my free summon, hope there's a colorless orb, and then that'll be it. I don't seem to understand her. A shame you seem to know this man. I know the fears you hold to